Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Pentiment. My name's Heliax and last time we finished exploring the ruined abbey. And as we were going through the chapter house looking at the, uh, the Walk of Death. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. The big mural in the chapter house that somebody, uh, added their own images of. They added the Baron, they added Otto, they added Hanna, they added Andreas, everybody who's died in Tassing, they've added and um, as we were examining that, we heard a noise. And we followed the noise, and somebody had been looking in on us. Uh, we don't know if it's the same person who tried to throw a rock at us, or the... <sighs> they're either somebody that's very scared. That, that they're more scared of being seen than they are of me figuring things out. Because they've had ample opportunity to kill me. And they haven't. Um, also, Klaus is very, very clumsy. So I feel like that the, the killer this time is actually the um, the Threadbearer. Right? Whereas before, it was the Threadbearer getting other people to kill people. Um, and that's maybe why they're a little bit more reluctant, a little bit more sloppy. And that's why I... I'm really starting to believe that it's Father Thomas. I just, I, the silhouette, it was a, it looked like a larger man. So, uh, Thomas has been in the town for the last three years. I guess it could be Wojslav too. Like if Wojslav is in love with Margaret, Margaret, not Margaret, Matilda. And Matilda is the girl that the Baron raped all those years ago. Because she's the one that like went away after the Baron's last visit right um so i think it's implied that she was the victim of that um that would give him motive to want him dead what motive would he have to kill otto though right that, that's when it gets a little bit tricky um motive for thomas to do anything i don't really know but we do know that before he came here he was at a different convent that was uh you know, or a different uh, parish that had some difficulties as well. So this is a, there's a history there. So I don't know. Maybe Amelie is, is part of it too. Maybe he's getting these visions from Amelie and the way he's interpreting them. It makes him think that he needs to kill these people. That's also a, a, a possibility. Um, and right now, we're going back to... Okay, we've got a lot that we didn't look at here. Now tell me that uh, was honor missing. Yeah, that was for the frog stuff. This one, Black Till told me about the farmers. Yeah. So, I was only able to read a little bit of the Historia Tassiae. It, the Latin is difficult, and the book is in bad condition after sitting in a peasant's drawer for so long. From what I could read from the book, talks about various monuments that were made to the Roman gods around town. I should ask around town for help translating the Latin. Sister Gertrude, Baltus, Dr. Souls, and Father Thomas may be able to read it for me. So Father Thomas is the only one we haven't asked. I've been given permission from Master or Mother Francisca, right? Reverend Matthew suggested the poor Clares. Right, we went there, we explored that. Then we did a lot. Yeah. I think I've learned all I can from the ruins of the Abbey. Who would do such a thing? We were made by the person who were they made by the person who followed who's following me? Is it the same person who was at the mine? The person who attacked my dad? Uh, probably. Probably. Uh, Sister Benedicta. Alright, there are a couple people here new. Anna, Mother Francisca, Ulrich. Sorry I'm going through these a little quickly, but... I don't think it's too important that we, we know all that. Alright. The old statue of St. Moritz has been has seen better days. I'm guessing that's probably a statue of like a Roman god. That we're just saying is was Moritz. Smoky. Uh also there are there's some yard work being done outside, so if you hear hear that, that's what that is. Hopefully you can't though. Magdalene, hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay. Let's go talk to Father Thomas, see if he will translate this book for us. Now, the good sign is we haven't got a, a 
a warning from Amelie yet. Hello, Father Thomas. Can you spare a moment? Yes, of course, Magdalene. What is it? Well, I found this book, but I can't read the Latin very well. Can you help me translate it? The whole book? Oh, dear. I can't afford that much time away from my duties right now. The Christmas sermon is coming up, and I've already fallen behind on it. On Advent preparations. Could the matter wait, perhaps? I'd be happy to look it over after the festivities. I suppose. Good, good. Okay, so, so yeah, a dead end. I wonder if that's always something we run into. Everyone is too distracted by their own work or doesn't know Latin well enough to read the Historia Tassia. I suppose I won't be able to use it as a reference for the mural after all. Hmm. I wonder how we get that to be different or if that's just how it is. I don't know. I think we're just about done though for the day, right? Let's go check on Dad. Oh, she is sweeping over here. Good. It's about time. I want to clean as something that's very clean. Hello, Magdalene. Okay, let's go to the Wrath House. Decide what we're going to paint. Central town. Hello, craft. Hey, Magdalene. Apollo. Hey, Magdalene. Hello, hello. Carl. Good day, Mistress Druckerin. Okay. The next part of the mural. Good evening, Magdalene. Good evening, Dr. Stoles. I see you're progressing on the town mural. Uh, you've made rapid progress. I'm trying to finish it in time for Dad. You understand? It's taken longer than I've wanted. I have to get all my other chores done, too. So think that I shouldn't be painting the mural, Dr. Stoles. I want to finish it for Dad. I'm doing the best I can to give him as much time as I can. The rest is in God's hands. Thank you. It's appreciated. Of course. Now then, the council has asked to hear about your progress. I've been researching the early Christian history of Tassing after the Romans left. Learning about how people settled in the ruins, how the abbey was founded, why our saints are so important to us. It was a lot to take in, but I've settled it, I've settled on my subject. What have you chosen, if I may, if I may ask? Okay, I'll, saint, I'll paint St. Moritz, St. Satya, and Our Lady of the Labyrinth receiving the Christian settlers. I want to show history how it happened. I'll paint Lady Kiersau founding the abbey from the old Bergfried. Bergfried. I'll paint the Bavarians settling among the Roman ruins, starting the Christian history of Tassing. Um. Hmm. I think we're going to get as much good grace as we can, picking both of the, um, the, um, more Christian option options for these first two. So that way, hopefully when we get to the revolt, we can just paint what really happened and have, you know, everybody be like, okay, well you gave us everything else is perfect. So we'll give you this one sort of thing. Um, so I'll paint St. Moritz, St. Satya and our lady of the labyrinth receiving the Christian settlers. They are the saints closest to Tassing and Kirsau, and have been part of our history for generations. The saints are a central part of Tassing's identity and income. Honoring them in the, in the mural will be well received by the town. The Lord will look on it favorably as well. You must always keep in mind that the mural is not just for you, but for all of Tassing. I remember. Very well. After this section, there's still so much work to do. I haven't even figured out how I'm going to portray the revolt. Ah, yes. I imagine it poses difficulties that other murals do not. That the other ones didn't. It's a strange thing to tell a story that still lives in the hearts of so many people here. I don't think anyone wants to talk about it. They're all, they've all just locked it away. <clears throat> Sounds like you have your work cut out for you. I'll leave you to it, then. 
I mean, you were there. <laughs> You're gonna... Oh, Dr. Stoltz. Yes. Have you ever seen someone lurking around the Abbey? Or heard about it? I haven't been up to the Abbey in years. And no, I haven't heard of anything like that. Why? I've seen someone following me a few times. I'm sorry to hear that. Didn't you run into the odious woodsman, Hallibrand, not long ago? I did. It wasn't a pleasant experience. Yes, but I don't think it's the same person. Hmm. Well, if you have concerns, you should ask one of the boys to escort you when you're, when you're out. There's no need to risk your safety. You're right. Good night, Dr. Stoles. Good night, Magdalene. Maybe... I still think it could be Werner. Mr. Stoles. But I'm not... I'm not... I'm not certain. Now I only have the final part of the mural to finish. How should I paint the revolt? Dad always talked about how the Archdeacon... Archdeacon... Archdeacon? Was the only one seeking justice in those days. But what was his name? The only name I can remember is the name of the Archdeacon who came to Tassing when the Baron was killed. Jacob Esler. Maybe he wrote an account of the revolt as an Archdeacon. I'll write to him and ask. And of course, I need to write back to Esther too. I'll write to them tonight before bed. But first... Let's take a little night stroll around town real quick. See if there's anything going on. Uh, the town commons will pretty much tell us if anything has changed. If there's anything new to say to people. I'm suspecting there won't be. Well, it's worth a check. Oh, hi Magda. Afternoon, Ma Martha. You're visiting the smithy. Yes, Indris is helping me make something for my dad. Dad loves his morning walks, but his legs start his legs start aching after a little while, so we can't go far. I've been giving it. I've been given a challenging project, to say the least. Making a brace. I've been discussing it with Baltus for a while. He has all sorts of ideas. Baltus comes up with with a kind of supportive frame for Dad's leg, inspired by the by the uh, Kuse and Grieve. Um, he hopes it could help Dad put less weight on the injury. With this, maybe it'll it'd be possible to help him move around without so much pain. The design requires all manners of metal parts, though. I hope I'm up to the task. Some of the smaller bits may be a problem. I have faith in your interest. Iron is quite expensive at the moment. How are you paying for it? We manage. A few people in town have helped out. Indris here has been very generous as well. He's accepted some of our, uh, some of our chops in trade. Crops in trade. Mm-hmm. I like the cause. Dad needs the encouragement. He becomes so much sadder when Autumn, ar Autumn arrives. I haven't actually told him about any of it this yet. I want it to be a surprise. A gift for Christmas, if all goes well. I hope it does. Good luck, Martha. Or Martha. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Magda. We'll talk more soon, alright? Of course, people. Okay. So we did get something new, but that was from the afternoon. It wasn't an evening change. So I doubt there's actually going to be a whole lot else. Just go around real quick. Check the farms. Oh, this is going to be the same thing, isn't it? I'm going to stop talking to you, Hans, if, it, if this doesn't change, buddy. I hope so, too. This town has seen too many terrible things. I pray you're right. You should get back to it and stop saying the same thing. Damn it. Yeah, I'm guessing that's probably the only change. Everybody else is in the same position. Whereas Martha and, and Carl were out by the meadow in the morning and then they moved in the afternoon. Okay. Get back home and let's do some writing. All right, where to begin? I'll write to the Archdeacon Jacob es uh, Esther and see if he can tell me about the revolt. I'll write a letter to Esther, too. I hope the courier can make it through the passes before winter. 
Jacob Esther, former, formerly Archdeacon of Fres Pressing. My name is Magdalene Dreckerin. I'm an artist in the town of Tassing in Upper, Bavar Upper Bavaria. I believe you passed through the community when you investigated Baron Rothfunkel's murder at Kirsau Abbey in 1518. Do you remember anything about the case that the people in Tassing might not remember? In particular, do you remember anything about someone writing notes to provoke the killer? Did you see any evidence that might suggest that there was some sort of larger conspiracy at work? Do you have any reason to doubt the conclusion of the case? Uh, let's go with this one. More have appeared in Tassing in subsequent years, seemingly harbingers of death. Thank you for any help you can give. Magdalene Druckerin. Dearest Esther, I hope you are well. You must know how tremendously happy I am for you and Simon. And Eliza too, of course, and your parents. It warms my heart to know that your family is doing so well. By the time this letter reaches you, I expect winter will have been folded tassing. It's already freezing at night, so I've reorganized the workshop so that the inks don't deteriorate. Do you have, do you have to worry about that in Prague? You said it snows, but I always imagined it was warmer in the winter. Dad is doing poorly, but at least he seems comfortable. He's sleeping more, but Dr. Stoll says that that's a consequence of the colder weather. I do what I can for him, but this winter has been hard. I've asked Agnes for help, but there's only so much she and Dr. Stoll's can do. He's not going to make it, and there's nothing I can do. Christ, I'm scared, Esther. The mural is progressing well, but I can't shake the feeling that someone's following me. I keep seeing this figure figure around town. After I explored the mines to see Tassing early, Tassing's early history, and then again in the Abbey Ruins. No one else in Tassing has seen anything, but some of the nuns say they, they've seen a ghost. If it's the person who attacked my dad, why are they following me? Whoever it is, I'm sure it's not anyone from Tassing. But what do they want with me? Why, why, are, they yeah, why are they following me? It's the strangest thing, giving me, giving me a fright a few times already. But I don't mean to worry. You. Uh, nothing happened to me yet, so I think I'll be safe. The only good news I can share at the moment is that the mural is almost finished. I should have it completed by Christmas, or soon after, before the new year at least. Then perhaps at long last I shall be able to visit you and meet Simon. Anyway, I fear that this will be my last letter of the year. The, Reich po the Reichspost has already been late, and reported worsening snows and reported worsening snows through the passes. We seem to be stepping into a harsh winter. Stay warm and give my regards to your family and Simon. Yours always, Magda. All right, bedtime. Huh? Uh oh. How did this get here? Oh boy. This is just like the note Dad found. Who's doing this? Are they trying to scare me? And if I don't stop, are they going to try to kill me next? I need to ask Dad about this. It can't be it can't be a coincidence. But he's been so weak. I don't want to I don't want to upset him. I just need to wait for the the right the right time. I hope there is a right time. Shit. That would creep the shit out of me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I would probably stop. I'll clean it up later. The mural is more important. I mean, we'll, I guess I guess I have more knowledge of what those notes have done to the town, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of creepy. Get a dog. That's what I need. Nice guard dog. It's late. I should get some rest soon. Go to sleep. I saw the uh, snowflakes going past the windows, and I, 
at first glance, I thought it was a person back there. Like a person moving. Because I just saw the movement. I need to get some blinds on the on those uh curtains on those windows. It's December. December fourth. Mr. Strucker in. Only one letter for you today. The pass is nigh impossible to traverse, and the heavy snow is hard on the horse and me. Anyway, happy advent, my dear. Thank you. The same to you. Who's it from? Esther or the Archdeacon? From Jacob Esler. Okay. Mr. Struckerman. I do recall the Rothfugel case, though it has been over a decade since I have served as an Archdeacon. I am no longer associated with the office of the Prince Bishop. In fact, I am no longer associated with the Catholic Church. If you do not mind conversing with a Lutheran, I will tell you what I remember. The notes you mentioned do stir something in my memory. One of the men I questioned in Curacao was an artist from Nuremberg, Andreas Mahler. He mentioned finding notes written in a fine hand, inci inciting individuals to violence against the Baron. While the scope of my investigation was too narrow to look into the matter, it did concern me. Finding more notes now, after so many years, must mean that their author is still active. If this is the case, a serpent has lain, lain coiled has lain coiled in the bosom of your community for decades, and may lay there still. What causes this serpent to awaken every few years to stage a new killing? I fear that finding the answer to that question may draw you into its reach. However, if you are determined to find the source of the trouble, I believe you must inquire with your neighbors. I urge caution in your investigation into this matter. If the serpent merely sleeps, it may be dangerous to poke it, poke into its old resting places. I hope this has been of some help to you. May God bless and keep you safe. Jacob Esler. That was actually very helpful, thank you. Well, not very helpful, but like it was... I guess the hair was helpful. We knew that already. No reply from Esther this time. It must have been delayed due to the heavy snow. The postman said I won't receive any more letters until spring. I better get back to the Wrath House, then. Still more work to be done. Alright. Another day passed. Another two days, three days, four days, five days, six days, seven days, eight days, nine days. Oh my god! It's too quick. It's almost Christmas. Christmas Eve. Good morning, Dad. I finally caught up on the mural, and now I can start the final part today. I promise I'll get it done. Magdalene, I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad. I'm sorry Dr. Stoll said you can't come to the festivities tonight. I know how much you love the, uh, Perchtenthloff. A Germanic folk ritual, uh, celebrated around Christmas time, in which townsfolk dress as Perchten and, uh, and drive evil spirits from the town to protect it in the coming new year. There always is next year. Right. How are you feeling? Dr. Stoll said he would come by again today. Fine, fine. I'm fine. Are you sure? Do you need anything? Maybe I should stay home with you today. No, Magdalene. If you want to work, you should work. It's alright. In fact, my spirits are lifted today. It's Christmas Eve, after all. Of course. What's wrong? Dad. I found a note back in November. A note? What do you mean? It was like a note I found in your plans for the murals. Just a scrap of parchment. It looked like it came out of an old manuscript. Elaborate writing, purple ink. It just said, stop. Do you know where they came from? Who wrote them? Magdalene, I... Oh god, that must be Oates. He said he'd drop by with more firewood. If you know something, I'd like you to tell me, alright? I know. I will. Can we talk about the... Can we talk about it later? Dad. 
I'll tell you. I promise. Alright. I'll be back later. Good. Take care of yourself out there. Yeah, he's not gonna tell us. It's an old... I know, I know that storytelling trick. Oh, I'll tell you later. And then you die. I never get to know. Damn it. Okay. Oats. Morning, Magdalene. Oh, he's calling me Magdalene. Morning, Oats. Cold out, isn't it? Freezing. Makes me envy Nico. Oh, able to stay inside all day. Even Indris has his forge to keep him warm. Anyway, here. I brought some firewood for you and your dad. Thank you, Oats. Uh, you're welcome. So, uh... How's your dad? You think he can join us? Join everyone for Christmas Mass? I think he'll stay in bed tonight. I'll do my best to be there. I need to keep working on the mural, though. I'm working on the final section. About the Peasants' Revolt, right? Feels weird to talk about it. It affected Tassing so much, but we were just kids. I can't remember what happened since I was just a baby. I never even knew my dad. That makes it difficult. Oh, well, that's what makes it difficult. I need to ask those who were already adults that night, but don't want to touch raw nerves. Hmm. What if you spoke to people while everyone was preparing for Christmas? For the Christmas festi festivities? Clara sometimes talks about that night. Mom, too. You might be able to ask them. Wojtyla and Matilda are the only two Benedictines left here in ta living in Tassing. Maybe they'll talk to me. Huh. And think of that. Still, the mural is for Tassing, not the old abbey. Agnes has always been in Tassing, right? I'd go to her if I were you. Dad said she helped bury everyone who died that night. I wonder if she'd talk about it. It's your project, Magdalene. Might be worth a try. I wrote to the old archdeacon about it, too. He thinks that the Baron's murder and Otto's death are connected to the revolt. The who? The man who came to Tassing for the Baron Rothfogel's murder? What about him? He was the judge. <laughs> he was the judge for the Baron's murder. What if all the deaths in Tassing are connected? I don't see how that old Baron has anything to do with the revolt. Are you feeling alright? I think you're looking for connections that aren't there. Maybe this mural project is getting to you. I need to get to the bottom of this, Oats. There's something more to all this. I know it. Yeah, this... I know it. If you're sure. I'll figure it out somehow. Thanks for the wood. See you around, Max. Ugh. <laughs> Oats is right. I should start talking to people around town. I better get started if I want to talk to everyone before the perch... The perchton lauf. Remembering the revolt. Alright, last piece of the puzzle here. I need to get to work on the last part of the mural. But Oates said he'd stop by this morning. I should go out and meet him. I'm suggesting investigation. Blah, 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 blah. I should speak with Agnes. And Clara's husband. It was right in the middle. So Clara. Uh, Golden Hand. Some of them must have, Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Um, oh, you know, I never noticed that I could look here and it give me all the, um, potential people I could go talk to. What are, what are we missing here? What's wrong? Oh, this stuff. Okay. And then people, Jacob. Okay. All right. What kind of route do we want to take? I think we'll go this way, down to Martin's farm. I guess we'll talk to, should we talk to Thomas first? Yeah, let's talk to Thomas first. Since we're here. <gasps> He's not here. Suspicious. Why would a priest not be in the church on Christmas Eve? Agnes, or Amelia, Amelie, can't talk to her. There's something going on with those two. Yeah, I mean, I... Something's up. I'm on to them. Okay, they must all be at the inn. Is my guess. Nothing down here, right? 
I can't even get to her house. It's kind of sad. Or at least Hans won't say the same thing. Hopefully. The Gertner house. Hello, everyone. Big York. Madeline. Gret. Bless you, Magdalene. Clara. Hello, Magdalene. I would have thought you'd be working on the mural today. What brings you here? I'm working on the final section of the mural now, about the revolt. It's going well, but I need more details. I was able I was only a baby at the time, but you all lived through the events. I want to portray it in the best way possible. I would like I would like to sit with you and ask how you rem how you remember the rebellion, if that's all right. Ah, uh, that was a sad time. If it help you memorialize memorialize those we lost in the revolt, yes, I'll answer a few questions. I don't mind. I was a little older than you, so I probably remember more, Magdalene. Of course, Magdalene. We'll tell you all we all you want to know. I've been looking forward to seeing the mural for some months. Come now, sit with us. Now that you're now you now that you're all settled, what did you want to know? Did the revolt ha have anything to do with the other murder that happened in Tassing? Oh, the murder of the Baron, you mean? No, not really. I only remember that Andreas attempted to be a peacekeeper in both situations. I suppose that's when things started going poorly. <laughs> yes, after Prior Farrick was discovered as a witch, people weren't as willing to trust the Abbey anymore. Then the Abbot became more severe. He didn't like that the Prior's death rattled his control of Tassing. I still think that the old Prior cursed the town. That's when the crops started failing. I don't know about... Uh, any of that, but his taxes and restrictions and his attitude towards us became harsher after that. It was all we could do to live by them, but it eventually became too much. Even with all the restrictions, was the revolt really justified? I keep hearing conflicting stories about how it began. I know things were bad for the peasants, but was it worth all the loss? I thought the peasants stormed the abbey unprovoked and the, the Lanschnecks had to be called in. And that's not how it happened. He wasn't there at all, was he? He's just some well-to-do noble who hates the idea of peasants having anything. Now, Ursula, let's not be unchristian in the matter. There were so many other revolts going on at the time, and Kersau was not an unf unf uninfluenced, uninfluential abbey. Sin abound on all sides, and I won't deny that many mistakes were made that night, but we did everything we could to keep things from getting a getting violent, but the Lord had other plans. All we wanted was fair access to common land and taxes that left us with enough l to live on, but the abbot tore it. Uh, but the abbot... What? <laughs> tore even that way. Even, oh, okay. But the abbot tore even that away. <laughs> there we go. I remember how sick and hungry I was all the time. Grandpa kept saying it hadn't always been like that. All was fine until Hannah Nico's wife killed Otto because she feared that or she feared what would happen if the abbey shut down. Well, my husband wouldn't let that rest. We all wanted justice. When the soldiers arrived, or when the soldier arrived and threatened us, all the townsfolk pulled away except for you and Ulrich, Gret. No, Clara, I'm afraid even I was intimidated and begged Ulrich to leave that matter be. My husband alone stood with the with the peasants. Why did all the peasants revolt anyway? So many people died. They must have known it would would it they must have known it wouldn't succeed. Dad always talks about he how he regrets that choice. That's why he wanted to paint the mural. Could the revolt have succeeded if the townsfolk didn't pull away? Let's go with this one, the middle one. Your father is uh, is unique in that regard. Most of the other townsfolk see the revolt's failure as proof that it was doomed from the start. Truly, if the entire town banded together, we likely could have succeeded without violence at all. By then, we were starved and wanted justice so much, Peter truly thought success was possible. There was still some t there, was, there was still some discussion. Oric and Andreas wanted peace. Then that fucking Miller protected the bit that bitch. Jeez, girl. He always hated us, thought he was better than us. Yeah, he did. Ursula, language. 
What, Mom? It's true. Linhart, you, even, Linhart even shot Ork out of nowhere. It was unprovoked? Yes. Linhart always did hate the rest of the townsfolk, and he wanted to take advantage of anyone he could. My husband sought peace to the last. He was a martyr to us. I think the miller shot or or Ulrich to retaliate, but after that, Peter couldn't be stopped. We'd lost too much. They burned... The burning of the abbey was a grim was a grim night, and the soldiers coming in. Our men fought to protect us, to protect Tassing, and many died in that fight. But we got rid of the abbot and all the monks at last. Or at least. Yes, and that is some comfort. If only a little. Are there any heroes of Tassing I should remember? I should memorialize? Dad, definitely. Peter always wanted to be... Oh, always wanted the best for Tassing, even if he acted rashly by setting fire to the Abbey. I hope you can portray him in the best light, Magdalene. I'd rather not talk about that night anymore. I hope we provided enough insight for your work. You did. Thank you. I'll let you get back to it. I won't ask anything further. Uh, I guess I can work with what you said. <laughs> you did. Thank you. Thank you, Magdalene. I'm certain the mural will be beautiful. I don't know about memorializing Peter as a hero. I mean... Uh. Alright. So that one's good. You guys got anything more to say? No? Okay. Pig York. Alright, now we go up to the town commons. Because so should be able to talk to Eva. Hello. Hello, Magdalene. Nope, okay. Hello, Magdalene. Christina. Magda. Okay. Nothing from you guys. Let's go up to... Town Center. Is that what it's called? Central Town. Here we go. Uh... Shouldn't be anybody in the bakery. And there is not anybody in the bakery. Okay. She should probably lock her doors. I know we need to talk to Agnes. Let's just go around and look up here first. Biggest building in Tassing. Excited to see the finished project product. Stoles. I mean, he's not here either. Hey guys, Nazu and Baltazar. Ah, if it isn't Mistress Magdalene. Hello, Baltas. Hello, Nazu. How are you? How are your inventions coming, Baltus? Oh, very well, thank you. I was just showing Nazu of how our Wrath House clock works on one of my smaller prototypes. It is a fascinating process, truly. I had never considered that one man could make something so complex by himself. The clock tower is the wonder of Tassing. Well, you do have to, well, you do have to account for Indris's help in smithing the parts, and Oates is building the framework to hold it too. Uh. <laughs> uh, the clock tower is a wonder, is the wonder of Tassing, isn't it? I've not seen such a wonderful work of mechanical invention in such a small town. God bless you, God bless you with this, or God bless you with Balthazar. Ah, I'm simply glad that Tassing appreciates my work after so long. You're too modest here in the simple alpine town. You really ought to come with me to Genoa. Oh no, I'm far too grounded here to manage that, Nazu. Then I shall be forced to visit every year to settle your accounts, and while I do, remind you of your genius. Some of us tried to do that already. You're right, you're right, he is far too modest. You see, the whole town agrees. In any case, shall I return to work about this? Oh yes, of course. Please excuse us, Magdalene, we're rather busy at the moment. 
Until later, then. Yeah, I mean, he's... For for such a small town to have him here, it's it's kind of incredible, to be honest. All right. Steinauer House. Hello, ladies. Hello, Magdalene. Hello, Magdalene. Magdalene Druckerin, I didn't expect to see you today. How's your father? He's not well, honesty, honestly. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. He'll be in our prayers tonight. Ours as well. Now then, is there something we can help you with, dear? I have a small favor to ask. Agnes, you're old. <laughs> you remember things that happened in this town, right? I have a small favor to ask. Oh, go on then. Spit it out. If it isn't too much trouble, I'd like you all to recount what you remember of the revolt. I'm nearly done with my mural, but I need more details. I was so young, I don't remember much of that night. Oh, for that project of yours in the Wrath House. I'm afraid I won't have much good to say about the matter, but all right. Come sit down, Magdalene. Don't worry about the helping with the wreaths. It took me years to get the technique up, up to Mom's expectations, so you're better off not helping. Ah, you always did fine, Brigida. Okay. So, Magdalene, what do you need to know to finish your mural? I was hoping to ask you more about the revolt. It seems so important, but no one ever talks about it. All I can remember was the flames when the, when the abbey burned, because I was so young. What part of the revolt? What part of the revolt? The abbot starving us out of the house and home? Otto's murder? I doubt that would be a good I doubt that would be a good painting. I thought the abbot of Curacao was acting in his, in his rights. It seems like the abbot of Curacao wasn't on very good terms with Tassing. I thought there was an attempt to talk to the abbot. Yeah, wasn't there an attempt? There was, until Otto was killed. After that, the monks shut themselves up in the abbey library. Meanwhile, that bastard abbot only ever cared for how many pl how many finnings he could get it from us. Brigida, don't forget to twist the ends in. Can't have it looking like a Christmas hedgehog. I'm getting there, Mom. I've looked after Martin and Kraft well enough, haven't I? I can manage this. Yes, well, after your father died, I've got no one left to nag besides you and that husband of yours. Thank God I have the both of you, as, as a matter of fact. Let, let an old woman have her vices. The Gertner house was a bit sad. Jorg was getting... Ja Jorg always gets quiet this time of year. Whatever for, but it's Christmas. Yes, it's Christmas. But the Gertners have struggled for a long time, even after Peter died. Tassing's lost a good number of folk over the years, and feast days and celebrations make it harder to bear. You mean the revolt, right? The revolt, the murders, that fool Andreas had to meddle in everything. Didn't do much good, if you ask me. Ouch. I'm right here, guys. Andreas Maller, the artist? I thought he was my dad's friend. You mean Master Maller? Dad said that none of this was his fault. Dad said that Master Maller made some mistakes, but he was seeking justice for everyone in town. And I think your father is right in that, and yet... He'd already meddled enough in Tassing after the Baron's murder that he held more sway than he knew. Or maybe it said thought he held more sway than he knew. I don't know. I could understand it the first time. He wanted to save that old monk. I dare say he saw him as a father. And it was proven the prior was, was a witch, so I suppose he did some good for Tassing then. I think Wojtlav might be the only person left in Tassing who even remembers the old prior. <laughs> and that's when the trouble started, I'd say. The town folk saw a monk killed and the abbot was in incensed. Then came the revolt, and Andreas Maller happened to show up nearly the day nearly the day of Otto's murder. Did the revolt accomplish anything? That always says the townsfolk didn't stand with the peasants as long as they should have. I always heard that the night was a slaughter. Why didn't the peasants stop? Why didn't anyone stop the peasants? They were in a riot, burning down the abbey. What more could anyone do? A shame it had to happen at all. I think. I knew the revolt was a bad idea from the from the start. Old Wolschlav would be the only one to know what happened inside the old church now, before the fire. Some like to say things were always his, or always this bad. That violence was the only way, but it wasn't. Life got worse over the years. 
It wasn't like this when I was a child. Not in my grandparents' time, either. Sure, the abbot was pinching the townsfolk, and the peasants were suffering. But to go against the church? But like you said, things weren't always so bad. We fought to make things right. A foolish fight. And to think, I delivered a baby. Your friend Esther, in fact, during the whole event. That's right. The summer fields were in town because of all the revolts around then. Her parents couldn't get home. Praise God she made it home. A babe on the road is in those days? A miracle, I say. But things got better in the end, right? Even if so many people died? Well, the revolt did, didn't totally fail, did it? The abbot and monks have left. It doesn't make things... It doesn't seem like things have gotten much better. Uh, the revolt didn't... The revolt didn't totally fail, did it? The abbey may be gone, but Tassing has only traded one lord for another. The peasants were so angry over the abbot's perceived injustices, they thought they could make it right even with even more injustice. Then the abbey caught fire and everyone ran. But by then the soldiers had arrived to stop them all. Well what can what well what can one Well what can one do against a mob holding torches? That soldier even warned Peter, but nothing would stop him besides steel. So nothing got better? At all? No, not as I see it. The Lord is just as severe as the abbot was, and threatens force at every turn. That's life. You can struggle and die to accomplish something, and nothing changes. Fighting or working, it never matters. We starve and die in the end. Heh. <laughs> the dead are, are luckier. They died believing they changed something. We're stuck with the harsh reality. This is all you've known, Magdalene. You've grown up used to it. We all have. Thank you for sharing your story with me. It's important to share our suffering with the, with the younger generation. Maybe they can change something. Good luck on the mural, Magdalene. Good luck, Magdalene. Hmm. Okay. Crafting wreaths. Let's go and make sure that these don't have more to them. I helped Agnes, Brigida, and Veronica... They viewed the revolt as a failure, especially Agnes. She said it brought nothing... It brought peace to Tassing, but that things are much worse now than when she was young. Okay. We need to find Woshlav. First, we're going to go back here. Let's go up to the mill. The Mueller house. I'm sure they should remember something, right? You would think they would. Hello, Mag. Magdalene. Considering, you know, their parents are so involved. Nope. Okay. Maybe Elsa will. Well, it looks like she might be at the, the tavern. Where's Doggo? I didn't see Doggo. Maybe Smokey, too. I don't know. Alexander. Well, if it isn't M Magdalene. That's me. You're learning everyone's name during your stay? Alas, it appears the good people of Tassing are the only audience I will have until the pass is clear. It seems only right that I attempt to put myself on friendly terms with you and your neighbors. I apologize for, I apologize for not introducing myself sooner. I'm Alexander. This is my partner, uh, Hazemir. We are musicians by trade, travelers by necessity. The weather trapped us here, trapped us on our way back to uh, Wurzburg for a Christmas celebration. I had hoped to win the uh, Meister Singer competition there, but alas, we are trapped here with the pe with the passes until the pass is clear. How are you finding Tassing? Everyone has been quite kind, and no one has thrown anything at me for my music. Considering the circumstances, I am counting that as a success. I have to admit, I was quite upset that I had missed my opportunity opportunity to sing at the competition. He practiced so much for it. Yes, it's hard not to view the last year as a waste. You can try again next Christmas, can't you? Of course. Though the older I get, the less comfort I take in the possibilities of the future. 
missed opportunity stinging more with each passing year. Well, you have an audience here, the people of Tassing. And perform for them, I will. I love performing for people wherever I go. When I sing for people, I want to move them. I want to see in, I want to see it on their faces. It's only in that moment that I can connect with them. And that's the only truth I know. Master Singer judges will rate me as they will, but that's not why I want to perform for them. I want to move the masters the way they moved me. Does that make sense? I think so. My dad is my teacher, and his approval means a lot to me. I'm not sure. I never really thought about it. Making art is just what I do to help my dad. I suppose I make art for my own satisfaction. Um, I'm going to go with the third one. But certainly, if travelers didn't enjoy the art your father prints, they wouldn't buy it. I suppose that's true. Maybe they buy it for the words, in spite of the art. I think you're being modest. And maybe you are just making the art for your art that you want. Still, we can't help but be influenced by how we were trained, how we were praised. Consciously or unconsciously, we're all shaped by those who came before and those who surround us. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... Just feeling a bit melancholy, I suppose. Cheer up, Christmas is here. Of course. In our darkest hour, the birth of our Savior reminds us that dawn will follow. Perhaps the Christmas feast will lift my spirit. Will I see you there? Absolutely. Almost everyone in town is... Ev almost everyone in town should be there. Then I look forward to it. Until then. Hello, Magdalene. <laughs> You're... Kizimir's, right? You're with Alexander? Musicians? Yes. I play sham and lute. He sings. Are you Polish? <laughs> yes. From, uh, Callie's. Callie's? Alright. I won't take any more of your time. What are you two doing in Tassing? Ask Alexander. Sorry. Alright. I won't take any more of your time. You don't have to say bye. <laughs> Thanks. God bless you. Alright. Hans. Hello, Magdalene. Hello, Hans. Did you need something? Just wanted to see what you were doing. Well, uh... I was just about to leave. I haven't got to... I have, I have to go meet Big Jork soon. Why? Uh, stuff in the forest needs doing. Like what? To lift logs. Why would you do that? Well, lift big logs to see who's stronger. It's a contest. Uh, how long have you been doing this? A few years. Once I grew into my frame, you know. There aren't many in Tassing who are up to the challenge, other than Big Jork. Simon's big, like Sep was, but he's not. He, but he's not interested. He's always busy ta or taking care of the farm. Maybe Apollo can join us one day. He's been getting stout the last few years. Alright, who's winning so far? Jorg. But barely. I've been gaining on him. He's growing old. And soft. With his with his council work. Haha. <laughs> huh, I see. So this is a thing that men just do from time to time? Me and Jorg? Sure. I don't know about anyone else. You're welcome to join us, Magdalene. Perhaps you haven't noticed, but I'm not very big myself. You happen to have small logs that would suit me? Plenty of trees in the forest. We'll find you what you need. Maybe you'd put some meat on those bones. Sure. Maybe I'll drop by someday. Christ, Jork will, Jork will get a kick out of that. You really mean it, right? Oh, absolutely. Great. I should get back to work now. Until later, Magdalene. 
Until then. That would be fun. There's Woshlav. That's probably who we want to talk to. Oh. Ah, hello, Magdalene. Hello, Magdalene. How's the weather? We've been prepping for the fest the feast in here all day. Fresh and brisk. Perfect for a walk. Colder than usual. I'm glad to be indoors now. It's been colder than I remember it being for decades. More snowfall, that's certain. It's global warming, guys. At least we're in here for now. Or at least we're in here where we can uh, keep our fingers warm. What's the... What's it called? Is it called the Little Ice Age? There's a period. I don't remember exactly when. It could have been around this time when, like, you had, like, uncharacteristically cold winters for a, for a couple of years. Maybe this is around that time. I wouldn't be surprised if they put it then, considering the, uh, the narrative of modern life. Uh, you'd better keep your fingers out of the dough, Master Bauer. I, I didn't do anything. You've snuck your little fingers into my cookie dough ha at least three times today. Do it again, and I'll wrap your knuckles with it with the back of my spoon. Don't anger Mistress Matilda, Simon. Yes, sir. Sorry, Mistress Matilda. We need enough dough to make cookies for the entire town. Anyway, what'd you come in for, Magdalene? I was hoping you could tell me what you remember of the revolt. I was too young to remember much of it. No one ever seems to talk about it, and Mistress Matilda and Mistress and Master Wolschlav, you two are the only ones left who used to live in the Abbey. The only ones who stayed, anyway. Matilda and I have been friendly enough with the people in town. We put it behind us in time. You can you can imagine the other brother has had little reason to remain. Poor old Adok's heart gave out that night. It was all too much for him. God rest his soul. It's all because I didn't get him his damn medicine. I saw that there's an achievement to get his medicine to him. I don't know what I missed. I tried so hard to get the medicine for him. It's not fair. I'm not sure what happened to the others. All gone in any case. But the whole thing is a sensitive subject, Magdalene. Why are you asking? I want to honor everyone who fought in the revolt in the Wrath House mural. I want to portray the events truthfully in the mural, so I'm trying to hear everyone's account of the events. I talked to some others in town, but all the stories seem to conflict. I want to hear the perspectives. I want to hear your perspective so I can paint the mural. There was so much going on that night. No wonder everyone remembers it differently. Wait, Magdalene. Here. Come cut come cut out cookies with me first. That way we don't fall behind while we chat. We'll be grateful for the help. Alright, Magdalene. Cut out cookies from the dough and set them aside so Simon can put them on on a tray. We'll need a good number in a variety we'll need a good number in a variety of shapes, so don't hesitate to change which cutter you use. We have to have enough for the whole town that to have to have enough for the whole town after all. Alright, we'll start with the heart. Boop. Oh. There we go. Oh yeah. I'm so good at this game. And then some doves or some sparrows or something. I don't like that. There we go. Huh? It's too close to the edge. There we go. Alright. Some diamonds. And then some circles. Like little shapes on them. That's nice. Um. Are you done? Oh, there's not really that many. Uh. Let me try again. Alright, now don't forget. We need a lot of cookies in all the shapes. So don't just stick to one press. Okay. So we need to be even more economical with our space. Try and get five per. Hmm. 
Mm, maybe we can put like a diamond up there or something. There we go. And then maybe we can... Hmm. This is tough. <laughs> Who knew cutting cookies is the hardest part of the game? Okay. Let's get circles down here. Okay. And then we can put diamonds like right in the center here, right? Like this. There we go. Oh yeah. Look how smart I am. I think this will go further up like that. Um get some more hearts. Probably spin these around, right? Something more like that. How many cookies do you need, girl? I'm getting all the cookies. Um, best way to do these. Something like this. And then... Then we flip it. It goes like that. Okay. I think we need some more circles. Another circle in there. Are we doing all the other ones? We need more diamonds. Alright. It's gotta be enough. Are you done? Cookie Master Achievement. These look wonderful. Thank you. You can make more if you want, but it looks like it looks like we have enough. I think that's good for now. Thanks for helping, Magdalene. We better keep going if we're going to have everything ready for the by the procession tonight. So, what can we tell you, Mac? I heard the Lansnecks came into town before the revolt and warned everyone to leave the Abbey alone. Could things really have been talked out, or was it too late by then? Why didn't the Abbey listen, or why didn't anybody listen? They were trained soldiers, and they killed so many people. Did the Abbot really think threatening you could, would work? Uh, was it too late to talk about it? There were some people who wanted to talk. Master Maller worked hard to keep the peace, but after Otto was killed... Oh, Andreas. A shame how he died. He was at the monastery. We at the monastery were very fond of him. Clara said, he "said Clara said she and the other peasants felt the same way. Dad said he was instrumental in keeping the revolt from getting out of hand. He regrets not standing by him. Yes, he was. He had a personal dinner with the abbot tr to try and discuss every or discuss things, I believe. A pity they couldn't come to an, an arrangement. Yes, Andreas did a lot of good for Tassing and Kirsau too. Even if the old abbot failed to admit that." He even revealed corruption in our own midst. The old prior, Ferenc, had been doing witchcraft in the, in the church. It's st I still grieve that he died in the Abbey Fire. I know your father does too, Magdalene. Yeah, because he was right in front of me. He was the last person I saw. But wasn't the revolt in general justified? Would it have been best to leave the matter alone? It sounds like no one should have should have opposed the Abbey at all. Would it have been best to leave the matter alone? No, not then. We couldn't even collect in the forest without a fee. Dad kept saying we couldn't live with higher and higher, higher, higher and higher taxes. The night Otto died, the abbot was trying to excommunicate everyone for celebrating St. John's Eve. A lot of people thought the abbot killed him in revenge. Turns out it was it was Hannah, the innkeeper, the innkeeper's wife. I still say she was uh, pressured into it by the miller. Still, after Otto and Ulrich. That was too much. We burned the mill with both bastards inside. My father said that, that that would be the end of things. Dad said he could pay the abbey with, with crops, but the abbey forbid it. And we had to pay we had to pay the miller's fee. Lenhard kept asking for more too, so we could use that stupid windmill. 
Why not just pay with grain? The abbot promised to help if Andreas found the person who killed Otto. All, all, all we wanted was to talk. But didn't you say that you just burned the mill? But the abbot ordered the Linnharks to start stop you? Or Lin Linsnecks to stop you? You mean no one was supposed to burn down the abbey? Why would anyone want that? We sought justice, not murder. It was too much for Peter. Linhart was one thing. He just killed Ulrich, but to burn the abbey. But when the the mercenaries saw the fire, they thought they uh, they thought they had another revolt on their hands, like so many others in the area. Even in the abbey, even we in the abbey couldn't stop them. We all fled. Brother Florian saved as many as he could, but Peter was wrong to burn the abbey. But what the soldiers did, that was awful. Dad died protecting me. Stabbed him in the chest. Who's your dad? Bowers. What? I know Martin's still alive, so it's not Martin Bauer, right? Isn't that who the Bowers were? Or is that you? Are you the Bowers? Was it Johan? It must be Johan, right? I don't even remember what was what he was wearing, but I remember how dark the blood was when we, when we found him. Almost black and sticky, like like uh uh I don't know treacle treacle. Dad socked one of the soldiers in the face, but another was right there. And... Uh, Magdalene, can we stop talking about this? Of course, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset anyone. Yes, thank you for talking to me. I'll do my best for the mural. Yeah, I'm sorry. Thanks, Magdalene. It's hard to discuss sometimes, you know? Good luck. We'll see you at the procession later. Until then.